Hey now, brawlers, it's time for another Board Game Brawl review with Nick Meanahan, sponsored by BoardGameBliss.com. Hey people, today we're going to take a look at Dynamite Nurse Returns. Now, this is the original Japanese version from Arc Light Games, and there's actually a new English language, North American version of the game being released from Japan to made games. They're going to be kickstarting a version soon. Now, this is not a Kickstarter preview by any means, this is a full review of the original Japanese version. I the timing just happens to work out with this, but I imagine that the English version is going to be the exact same as this, just with properly English translated cards. The version you're going to see with pictures uh, going up throughout the rest of the video uh, has English paste ups. That's why all the cards are sleeved, and that's why it, the cards look a little bit odd. The way the paste ups work are that it kind of goes across the bottom of the card. It kind of matches with the artwork, but not perfectly. Uh, and I will give you a forewarning here that the, uh, the text on the original cards are already small enough as it is, and with the paste-ups, it's almost impossible to see, even with the naked eye, uh, what the text is on the cards. Um, so it's going to be really hard to see in the pre uh, pictures I have as well, but I'm sure that the uh, full English version will not have that kind of issue. So Dynamite Nurse Returns, believe it or not, there actually is a preceding Dynamite Nurse game. It's not just a clever name. Uh, I never played the original. It's uh, somewhat older. In fact, if you look up uh, the few pictures that are on Board Game Geek, it's got like a really... Um, old style retro anime look to it whereas clearly if you saw the artwork for this game it's a much more modern style uh over the top anime artwork uh but basically it's a deck building game but with a unique twist to it so you and the other players uh take control of they call them a monastery <laughs> in the game terminology although not doesn't really look like a mo monastery to me but a monastery with nurses that are taking care of injured adventurers so this is, takes place in like a fantasy world and the adventurers get poisoned, or they get um, cursed and or petrified. All these different things are just plain old wounded. And they need to be taken care of by you and the other players representing these monasteries with your nurses. Now, of course, this is easier said than done. Everyone's going to start off the game in a true deck-building fashion with a starting deck that just consists of one normal... Uh, one uh, specialty nurse, although it's all the same for all the players, just lets you draw a card and get an extra healing. Um, but then you just get typical cards that give you currency. Now, in this game, there's two different types of currency. There's gold that lets you buy more cards from the village, uh, which just helps you flush out your or uh, build up your deck and get you uh, potentially more purchases and more healing. Again, typical deck building rules apply. But the other currency in the game is healing, which is going to be used to actually heal adventurers. Now, there's going to be a separate deck that represents injured adventurers coming into the ambulance cart. And those adventurers are going to be taken care of by someone. Now, on your turn, if one automatically gets added to the row, you're going to decide who that goes to. That's what the little tokens that come with the game are for. So you can give it to yourself if you want. You can assign it to yourself, although that doesn't actually go to anyone until the assignment phase. Or you can assign it to someone else. Sometimes you want it to be assigned to you because ultimately how you're going to win the game is by healing these adventurers and getting points for them. But, again, sometimes that's easy, healing them is easier said than done. So you don't want to get stuck with too many of them because if they come under your care, you've only got a couple of different sick beds uh, that you have access to. If, you, uh, tr if they have to come to you, whether you like it or not, whether you assign them to yourself or someone else assign them to you on your turn as they come onto the ambulance row, and you go over the two sick beds that you have, then turn by turn, those other patients who are just, as the rules describe, lying on the floor or just laying, you know, laying there in a, a heap waiting to die, they will deteriorate. And when they deteriorate, that means they're on death's door and then eventually they're just going to die. And if they die, you're going to take a kill mark. And the kill mark is going to count as negative points at the end of the game. And the more you have, the worse it is. Furthermore, whoever has the most kill marks right from the beginning of the game gets the Dynamite Nurse card. The Dynamite Nurse card counts as two additional kill marks for the end of the game. So, really bad. You don't want that to happen. But again, you're not going to be able to avoid taking patients. And other players are not going to be avoid taking patients either, possibly by your hand and vice versa. So, it's this interesting thing where... Uh, you have this flood of patients coming in, and at the same time, you need to be doing the typical deck building stuff of flush, uh, flushing out your deck. You have um, higher currency cards you can buy. Some of the healing cards actually have special abilities, 
which is an interesting thing. Um, white magic and black magic, which can actually uh, hurt adventurers um, and, and make them more, deteriorate them. Then you have uh, event cards and action cards, which are going to have other effects, paperwork cards, because again, this is supposed to be simulating what it would be like in a fantasy hospital, they call it a monastery, that would have to deal with things like this, which is it's just this weird thing with the theme where it's it's fantasy but then there's modern day stuff there whatever uh (laughs) but you have all these different things to worry about there are actually better nurses that you can get um as the game goes whenever you successfully heal someone by performing surgery on them you'll get to take one of the better nurses for free uh also if a a a, uh an adventurer deteriorates under your watch you can just put a quick bandage on them to keep them from dying But um, you need to still eventually heal them completely, which you want to do anyways. So, lots of interesting things going on in this game. I always talk on my channel about games that, or deck building games in particular, because it's a favorite genre of mine, that break the genre in different ways. And you you got to say that Dynamite Nurse does that. There's things I really like about the game. There's things I don't like quite so much. Um, But overall, I do like the game quite a bit. What I do like, again, is the theme and how well it plays out because you got these constant flood of adventurers you have to deal with and the sick beds and all these different types of things, which means it's much more thematic than most deck building games are. Compare this to Tonto Quarry, which is, um, they're both from Arclight, very comparable in art style and things like this, although the art style here is way more over the top and gratuitous as far as like huge tracts of land and such. But... Um, if you compare the two, mechanically speaking, Tonto Quarry is a static deck builder where you're just buying from piles, and you can easily say there's it's not very thematic because it is really just a retheming of Dominion in a lot of ways, um, reskinning of Dominion. Whereas Dynamite Nurse actually has thematic components to it and how you come into your hospital and you have to heal them. So that's definitely a plus in this game's favor. And it is just interesting how it all comes together um, and having the two different types of currencies being very dramatically different. It's not that you're fighting monsters with one, you're actually having to heal patients. Um, and there are a variety of cards. I mean, this is just one base set, but as you saw in the pictures and as I was describing to you, there's tons of different stuff in this game. Different nurses that have different special abilities, the paperwork cards and different events. Um, and the event cards can be uh, drastically... Uh, game changing in some regards and I would actually say that that was the one problem that I had with the game or sort of a a basket of a few problems uh, a basket of deplorable problems that's uh, not so bad not overwhelming but mainly it can just be uh, it's very easy in this game to get overwhelmed uh, you can get stuck with patients that you just you don't draw your healing cards right away or you don't have the, uh, enough healing cards or enough good healing cards, but you're stuck with patients that you have to deal with or else you're just going to keep compiling those kill marks. And if one player gets uh, some of the better nurse cards or some of the better uh, uh, different types of action cards and just keeps slamming the other players with them, that can be very problematic and can start to feel a little bit overwhelming. So there's a bit more of a... By its very nature of the game and what it is, and patients being shoved into other players' monasteries against their will, this is much more take that y than, uh, or much more um, negative player interaction than a lot of other deck building games or games um, that actually come from Arclight. So that's definitely something to be prepared for. Ultimately, I think that it is still a very good game and better. Because of the theme, um, it's elevated above a lot of its peers, especially from this company and with the anime theme. But the bad with the good, that being that there's much more negative interaction between the players, and that's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. I'm very eager to see what they could do with a full English version because there are some clunky things with the design as well uh, regarding like the cards um it's it's very fiddly is the one of the impressions i got much not like terribly so but more so than a lot of other deck builders i'd say this is on par with like legendary amount of um fiddly because of setting up the different areas and things like that but or maybe a little bit not as bad as legendary uh so that's something to keep in mind as well as far as the artwork on the cards i guess that bears some more discussion because it is an anime themed game and there are gratuitous anime girls on the cards but i to the game's credit, it fully owns up to that, I think. Um, 
Uh, but it is a, uh, a notch above Tonso Quarry as far as the gratuitousness of it. So that is something to keep in mind. Of course, I'm the uh, uh, weirdo anime guy, as I have been called before online, so I'm totally okay with that. Uh, <laughs> but some people may not be. But uh, really looking forward to what they can do with the English version of this because I've enjoyed the original Japanese version. I imagine the gameplay will be mostly the same. So if you are in, so inclined, to check that out when it happens because uh, I think this version is somewhat uh, difficult to find. But if anyone has played the original Dynamite Nurse, I am... I don't even think that game has anything to do with this one as far as the gameplay goes. I'm dying to know what it's like. <laughs> so, please let me know. But in any event, that is Dynamite Nurse Returns from Arclight and soon to be from Japan Anime Games. I like it with a couple of caveats, but uh, definitely check it out because it's a very unique deck building game. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And make sure to check out our sponsor, Board Game Bliss, where you can find an amazing selection of games from around the world. BoardGameBliss.com Thanks for your support.